So uh, let me ask you, why run for uh, another term? Because I feel that uh, yeah, I feel that I've got uh, quite a bit left to do here, and I think there's a lot going on in Grand Haven, and I want to be a part of that. You know, my first term here has been uh, an interesting time, been a lot of stresses and a lot of things going on in the community with the high water impacts we've had with the COVID-19 and all the things that go on in the community anyway. And so, you know, it's, I'm anxious to continue what we're doing here and to make this a better place. Uh, at this point, what do you think the biggest issues facing Grand Haven are? Oh, that's a good question. We have a lot of issues. Um, you know, the most uh, immediate thing that we've that's come up in the past few months has been, you know, dealing with our problem on Harbor Island where we've taken our power plant down and we have a big remediation effort to, uh, to deal with there. So that's going to require a lot of attention over the next several years and it's going to be costly. So that's something that we have to come up with good solutions for. So that's kind of like the big gorilla in the room. But there's also plenty else going on here. You know, we have, um, we are working on um, a redevelopment project for a riverfront. We had part of the high water problems we had was the uh, fact that we had a set of shops downtown, right on the waterfront that got mold in them, we had to tear down. And so we've taken the opportunity to rethink our waterfront and put some uh, new structures and amenities there, went through a long public engagement process to narrow down what people might like to have there. So that's a kind of work in progress that we're dealing with. And, you know, as, as most other communities have, we have a lot of uh, infrastructure issues, things to work on. We have our lead, lead service lines that we're replacing. We have roads to rebuild, lots of um, lots going on for that. So I mean, we, we have a lot of issues to deal with and uh, we, we have plans to deal with them. So we're, we're working our way through those. So it's gonna be kind of a process. Uh, your opponent says the uh, downtown development is her key issue. Do you see that as a big issue in the campaign from your standpoint? Well, it's an issue, but I think it's an issue of um, how, you, how you care to look at the uh, way a community evolves, the way things change over time. It, uh, I think what's happened was that when we looked at the, uh, we looked at what happened on our waterfront with having to take buildings down and with the natural evolution there with uh, opportunities for new uses and new things uh, for people to do there as well as enhancing our public access along the waterfront. We also looked beyond that and said, well, what would be the implication for the rest of downtown? I mean, it's all contiguous, it's all runs together because everything you do in one place affects another. And so we did a, a lengthy public engagement process where we had um, a master plan that came out of that. They had a lot of ideas in it. And uh, some of those ideas could come to fruition, some might not. If you looked at it all at once and said, all of this stuff is going to happen, it's gonna happen quickly, then yeah, that would be a lot of change, which would be unwelcome. But if you look at it as what are the best opportunities and uh, really focus on the thing that uh, we were trying to deal with, which is recovering, uh, Things that were on our waterfront, repurposing and um, new opportunities there. I don't think it's a big frightening prospect. I think it's a fairly natural thing to do. And so I think it's something that um, we just work through that process, do the things that best fit the community and not do things that overwhelm the community. So it's, uh, is it an issue? Well, absolutely, but it's an issue all the time in every generation for how you change as a community. And you do it in an incremental manner so that it, uh, it fits well. What do you think sets you apart from, from your opponent? Well, I've been uh, involved in um, city affairs for a long time. I was on our planning commission for nine years. I was on our environment and natural resource committee for seven years. I've been, I was on council for 10 years before I became mayor. So I've been uh, seeing a lot of these things, a lot of these issues over time. I've seen things that work, things that don't work so well. I've seen uh, various issues come and go and uh, how we respond to those. And so I think that uh, involvement that uh, long period of service I've had of the community has given me additional insight and it's given me some patience and it's given me the uh, ability to see beyond the immediate problem and what's going to come next and what's gonna come after that. And really you get a sense of um, some things have to change in communities and some things need to stay the same and recognizable and you have to sort through that. So I think that, uh, I think that perspective is valuable. Uh, you have an open camera, open mic. Uh, what would you like to say to voters uh, that I may not have covered? Say it again. I just I'll give you a chance to say 
talk to voters and, and say uh, something that maybe we haven't covered? Oh, well, um, I, I guess that I'd just say that uh, we have a lot of challenges in the community and I think that we have a good team that works that runs the uh, city hall, good administration where uh, we've been dealing with a lot of issues for many years and we're gonna continue to deal with them and that um, we do things in a logical and step-by-step -step manner. I think that we get through our issues and have a better place to live. That's my goal. Mayor Montessa, thank you very much for talking to us. I appreciate it. Okay, well, thanks for having me.